Hey you guys and welcome back. Today is finally going to be one of my pandemonium videos. I started this series a while ago and basically it's me showing you guys what products I've hit pan on or what products that I want to hit pan on. I used to do this like once a quarter but I found that I barely hit pan on anything so I'm only going to be doing this type of video twice a year from now on so in January and in June. I don't really remember when the last time I filmed one of these videos was, so I don't know how many months it's been, but today I have a bunch of products to share with you that I've actually used up. I forgot to mention, I don't just show products I've hit pan on, I also show products that I've used up. I do do empties videos like once a year as well, and I'll include these empties in that video as well, so it's like a good roundup. I don't know, I feel just as accomplished when I use up a product as when I hit pan on it. That's why I include makeup empties in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and let's just go ahead and get started. Snowing so much right now. I wish you guys could see it. It is like a blizzard, a blizzard outside. It's so, so snowy. We hadn't actually gotten snow at all this year, like this winter and today suddenly we got hit with a whole lot of snow. Thank God I didn't have work today because I would not have wanted to take the bus or the SkyTrain in this blizzard. Let's start with the products that I hit pan on that were on my list. I forgot to mention, again, I'm so like not used to filming these videos, but I forgot to mention, I always tell you guys what products I want to hit pan on. So from that list that I did, I guess the last time I filmed this video, I actually used up my BH Cosmetics concealer. This is old and I got it like two years ago. I just take forever to use up concealer. I have to remember not to buy concealer because it takes me so long to finish it. This was in the shade 104 and it was actually a pretty decent concealer. Like it wasn't my absolute favorite, but it was pretty decent. I'm glad that I finished it though because I get really bored of concealers after a while. I also hit pan on the Maybelline Superstay powder really hit pan on it actually. I pretty much use this every day. I actually have it on my face right now. It's my go-to everyday powder. I don't use it as a foundation, but I do use it to lightly set the BB cream or the concealer or the foundation that I have on my skin. I'm looking forward to finishing it. And that was it. <laughs> Those were the only two products that I actually hit pan on. But I do have a lot of products that I actually finished. I went through two brow products. The Annabelle Stay Sharp Waterproof Brow Liner I used up. I can't really remember how I felt about this one. I think it was like okay. I ran through it really really quickly but it was an okay brow product and I also used up the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer Shaping Brow Pencil. This one was all right as well. It came with a spoolie on one end to brush out the hairs. I just find I go through products like this so quickly and I just don't want to have to continuously buy a brow product so I won't repurchase either of these they weren't bad it's just that I don't like it when they when I run through them as quickly as I did with these two I used up a ton of mascaras I finished the essence false lashes dramatic volume unlimited mascara this one was really good actually I really enjoyed this one I used up the essence instant volume boost mascara which was also pretty good I actually feel like this one really volumized my lashes it did make them a little bit clumpy but it wasn't like a bad mascara and essence is super cheap I finished the covergirl exhibitionist mascara I actually really really like this one I think I want to repurchase it and I've never wanted to repurchase a mascara before, but I did find that this one really made my lashes look voluminous and full and fluffy without looking clumpy. So yeah, I really liked this mascara. I think I will actually repurchase this one. If I remember to next time I'm at the drugstore. Also used up the CoverGirl Last Blash Lash Blast Amplify Primer. It's the first eyelash primer that I've tried and it was pretty decent actually. Like a lot of the times for special events, I would use this and then apply my mascara on top and not need falsies. It really amplified my lashes a lot. I finished this e.l.f. Aqua Primer Mist. This is so, so old. I don't even want to tell you how old this is, but I finished it up at like the beginning of the year. Really happy about that. And I finished up my Milani Prep Setting Glow Illuminating Transparent Powder. I actually purchased another one and I'm almost, 
I've almost hit pan on the second one I've purchased. This is just my all-time favorite powder, like of all time, it's so good. I'm wearing it on my skin today and I just love the way it makes my whole complexion look. I also hit pan on the Revolution Pro Sculpt and Glow Contour and Highlight Palette. This is a really actually recent purchase and I hit pan on the bronzer. I don't even know if you guys can see it, but it's kind of got one of those gridded uh, pans so I can see like the grid lines coming through. I'm kind of disappointed that I went through this so fast. I feel like you didn't get a lot of product in it. I wish it was lasting a little longer because I really like this product. I'm actually wearing the highlighter on my face today. I love the way it makes my skin look super glowy and fresh. This is like a disappointing pan hit though. Like I'm kind of upset I hit pan on it. And that's everything. That's the progress progress I made this year. I need to do a lot better in 2020. I feel like that should be one of my makeup goals is to just use up products, not buy new ones, and not waste anything. There were a couple products that were on my list from last video that I still want to finish up and use up and I'm really really close on these it's just that I didn't make it in time for this video I'm working on finishing up my L'Oreal BB cream this is the magic skin beautifier you guys know I talked about this I've talked about this product a lot and I really like it oh I should mention I'm actually trying out the covergirl clean fresh skin milk today like that's what I'm wearing on my face and I really really like the way it looks like my skin looks super natural it doesn't look cakey or like i'm wearing a mask or anything i think i'm gonna really like this product i'm really excited about it i will include a video on it during foundation february like a wear test demo kind of video but getting back to this i want to finish it up this year i also am so close to Hitting pan on the e.l.f. primer infused bronzer. I can like almost see it. I do want to finish it up this year. I end up keeping bronzers for way too long and I know they don't go bad as quickly as things like mascaras and cream products, but I don't know. I just don't like having such a big bronzer collection. So I do want to use this one up this year. Hopefully I will hit pan on it by June. I think I will, like I'm so, so close. The Milani Baked Blush in the shade Rose Doro. Again, this one, I've been trying to hit pan on it for a really long time. I'm actually wearing it on my face right now. I'm also wearing the e.l.f. bronzer, by the way, but this is the blush that I have on my skin. If you're into rosy, glowy blushes, this is definitely a must have. I think it looks beautiful on the skin. It's my all time favorite blush pretty sure. I think I'm close to hitting pan on it, so I'm just gonna keep it on the radar. And those are the three products that were from my list last video. A couple things that I want to show you guys um, now that I want to hit pan on by June. I do want to finish up the Wet n Wild concealers. I have two of them because one of them was for like my under eyes and the darker shade is just to kind of spot conceal. I am really close to finishing these. It just feels like they are never ending. I've had these for so long. They're not a bad product, I just don't want them anymore. Hopefully by June, these will be out of my face. I have a primer that I want to finish. This is the Milani Prime Light Strobing and Pore Minimizing. Hopefully I'm close to finishing that. The e.l.f. Hydrating Gel Mist. I don't even know if this is still good. I've had it for a really long time. I don't actually even like it that much. I just don't want to have to throw it out or waste it. I'm gonna just try and remember to use it. I keep it on top of my makeup desk so that it's like in sight, in mind. It's not really hydrating. It doesn't really do much for my skin. So I'm only gonna be using it because I feel bad throwing it out. A couple setting sprays that I'm pretty sure I will be able to finish the next time I film a pandemonium video the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. I actually don't even like it that much. I felt like it made my face look a little bit cakey. I'm still gonna use it, obviously, and I want to uh, finish it up, but yeah, not the hugest fan of that product. And then the Catrice Illuminating Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. Again, ranted and raved about on YouTube, and I just didn't like it that much. I'm really close to finishing it, so next couple months, I'm sure, 
this guy will be gone. I also want to finish up the Marcel CC cream. This is such a good product. I will definitely be repurchasing it. I actually really, really like it. Plus it has SPF 35. It also has like a ton of other health benefits. I'm pretty sure I'm almost finished. And then because I am so bad at hitting pan on powder products, I only have three more to share with you in addition to the Milani blush and elf bronzer. The NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop powder foundation. Pretty sure I will hit pan on this one really soon, especially as I finish up the Maybelline Superstay powder. This is actually a really nice setting powder. I use a very light layer and it kind of just smooths out my skin. It evens my skin tone a little bit. So hopefully I will hit pan on it. I recently rediscovered the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. This is very old, like very old. I probably shouldn't be using it anymore. I've already hit pan on the two shades, but I figured I would just keep this in my everyday makeup drawer so that I can use up more of it and then get rid of it. I've already hit pan on this one as well. This is the Physicians Formula Bronze Booster. Like I said, I kind of want to use up the bronzers in my collection a little sooner and more efficiently. So this one I'm going to keep in my drawer and try and use it in conjunction with this one and the e.l.f. one so that I can use up as much of it before I have to get rid of it because again, it's pretty old and I don't know how long, how much longer it's going to hold up before it gets all weird. But that's everything. That is this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't really know if you like these types of videos. Hopefully you do because filming them keeps me motivated to actually use what I already have instead of purchasing new things. I know some people do so much better at hitting pan. I'm just bad at it. Like I don't know what it is about me, but I feel like I wear makeup every single day and I just never use up products. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Please subscribe if you would like to see more videos and I will see you in my next one.